Hello friends, my name is Baji. Welcome to our channel. As many of you suggested, I have decided to create a complete performance testing must have skill series for free. You don't need to have any prior experience in performance testing to start this series. Even if you are coming from a non-IT background, you still can follow along as I will be covering the topics from basics with real time examples. Please watch this video till the end as you will understand the different types of topics that you are going to learn in this series. In case you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also please click the notification bell so that you will not miss any updates from our channel. In case any of your friends are looking for performance testing videos, please share this series as it will definitely help them. Without any further delay, let's get started. Well, this is our first video in this series. In this video, I will be sharing the complete course details. I have designed this series into 8 modules. In each module, I will be covering the one important concept that you should master it. I have also created an index page which will help you to understand each subtopics that I am going to cover. Just to let you know that I will regularly update the index page to keep the content more up to date. I will also try to create the short and simple videos for each topic so that you can understand the concept quickly without spending a lot of time. Based on the module and topic, I may be releasing multiple videos so please watch for it. Don't worry, I will try to organize this series properly so that you will not miss the continuity. I will also share the github repo link in the description. Please clone, fork and watch it so that you will be notified for any updates to repo. In module 1, you will learn the basic concepts of software testing. You will understand the meaning of testing in a general way with a real time example. You will also learn what exactly the software is and why companies conduct software testing. You will also understand the reasons for softwares having issues. You will also explore the different types of testing and phases in a general view. In the second module, you will understand more about software development lifecycle, which is also called as SDLC. You will explore the objective of SDLC in different phases. You will also understand the differences between those methodologies and terminologies being used. In the module 3, which is server architecture basics, here you will gain deeper understanding of the server and different types of servers. You will also understand the types of application layers and types of architectures. You will be introduced about the protocol and its usage. Just to let you know that these three modules are very important for anyone whether you want to start your career in performance testing or any other technology. So please pay more attention to these three modules. In the next module which is module 4 you will gain deeper understanding of performance testing core concepts. This is very important module for those who wants to build their career in performance testing. In this module, you will learn what is performance testing in simple terms and why companies showing so much interest in performance testing. You will also learn different types of performance testing. Along with that, you will explore performance testing lifecycle which is also called as PTLC and its different phases. You will also understand how to gather performance testing requirements and different aspects should keep in mind while gathering them. You will also learn how to do workload modeling for new applications as well as the existing applications. Finally, you will be introduced some common terminologies in performance testing. In the module 5, you will be learning the basic programming concepts. I will be using the Apache Groovy for learning these fundamentals. The reason for choosing this, in the next module, you will be learning JMeter which uses Groovy for scripting. So learning Groovy will definitely help you in the upcoming module. Like any other programming languages, you will learn to install Groovy in your laptop. The programming fundamentals will be introduced using a simple program. From there, you will explore different concepts like variables, data types, strings, operators, conditional statements, loops, methods and many more. Just to let you know that the purpose of programming basic knowledge here is to enhance the performance test scripts effectively. So I will be skipping some of the programming concepts like object oriented programming in this module. If needed, we can continue the rest of the topics after our series. In the module 6, you will be introduced the performance testing tool concepts. Many organizations are using the commercial tool which is Loadrunner. However, currently most of them are showing more interest towards JMeter which is an open source tool. By keeping that in mind, I will be sharing JMeter knowledge in this module. If needed, we can have a separate series on Loadrunner. Firstly, you will understand the installation process and also running the software using graphical user interface method and also non-GUI mode. 
For any software, it is important to understand the folder structure so that you will have a better idea of the software. You will also gain good understanding of different JMeter elements like test plan, thread group, samplers, configs, controllers and many more. You will also learn built-in functions of JMeter. You will learn different recording methods along with some important scripting enhancements concepts like correlation, parameterization. We will also take some sample application and learn how to execute the test and analyze the results. You will also learn how to integrate JMeter with CACD pipelines. In the module 7, you will be introduced to the concepts of performance monitoring and different areas that this monitoring will be used. You will also explore native monitoring tools like Perfmon for Windows, Top, SAR and VMstat for Linux and also popular application performance monitoring tool which is Dynatrace. In the final module, you will explore the important Microsoft Office concepts like Word, Excel, as most of the documentation will be done using these components. You will also learn some important built-in functions of Excel. As these days, many organizations are using Confluence for their documentation, you will also learn about it. Thank you so much for staying till the end. I hope you have some better understanding of the course that I am going to deliver as part of this series. If you feel this video is informative, please do not forget to like subscribe and share it with others. I am putting lot of effort to deliver the quality content and your support will give more motivation to deliver more and more videos. In case of any questions, please do not hesitate to write them in the comment section. I will definitely answer all the questions. That's it for this video. Take care and see you in our first module video.